uh, a hydrogen atom in the excited state, n is equal to 6, emits an infrared photon with a frequency of 2.75 times 10 to, the my, 10 to the 14th hertz. What is the value of n final? Okay, this is n initial up here. We're asked to find n final. Now, a reasonable way to approach this is to take the frequency and calculate the energy of the photon. From the energy of the photon, thinking about what produced the photon, get the energy change of the atom, and then use Bohr's equation for delta E of the atom to figure out what n final is given n initial. So let's start off and say E of the photon as we did last time, is equal to negative uh, delta E of the atom. The atom loses the energy that creates the photon. Okay, now delta E of the atom, then uh, using Bohr's equation, um, uh, can be, as, as a last step here, can be uh, manipulated to get if you have one of n initial, if you have n initial, you can get n final or vice versa. Uh, but let's first of all get delta E of the atom because we need a value for it in order to use uh, Bohr's equation. So um, del minus delta E of the atom is equal E of the photon equals H nu of the photon. And that's H is 6.626 times 10 to the minus 30 um, for joule dot seconds times the photon frequency is 2.75 times 10 to the 14th seconds to the minus 1 or hertz. And when I did that arithmetic, I ended up with one point. 82 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Seconds, are, seconds and seconds to the minus 1 will, will cancel. And that's uh, then going to be equal to minus delta E of the atom. And so delta E of the atom will be minus this number. Okay, so we can write down Bohr's expression, delta E of the atom, which we know to be minus 1.82 times 10 to the minus 19th joules, is equal to minus 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18th joules, You should have memorized this equation by now. Times 1 over n squared, n final squared minus 1 over n initial squared. Okay, so what we want to do is to plug in n initial squared right here. This would be 6 so we would square 6 and so forth. And um, uh, if we look at this, um, to, in order to solve this expression, it's going to be negative 1.82 times 10 to the negative 19 joules divided by this number. We divide both sides by this number, negative 2.18 times 10 uh, to the minus 18 joules, and that's going to be equal to 1 over n squared final minus 1 over 6 uh, squared. Okay, we've got it down to one uh, uh, variable here, so we can solve it, and I got uh, 1 over n squared final is, an issue, is equal to 0 0.111 after I evaluated these things. Uh, and then n squared final is equal to 9 
and n final is equal to 6. So the transition, I'm sorry, 3. Please correct that. N squared, n squared final is equal to 9, and n's got to be equal to 3 in the real world. Uh, and so uh, the transition, n is equal to 6 to n is equal to 3. 